Welcome to My Wild Magic with me, your host, Adrian Cobb. Join me on a journey back home to your truest self in this inspiring, enlightening, and entertaining show. After a near-death experience in a car crash at 15 years old, I made a choice to stay and brought back with me three simple truths that I found from the other side. Love is all there is, our time is over here quicker than we think, and we all have a purpose, a soul blueprint to fulfill. On this show, you will find a higher purpose, a creative expression, and unique soul attributes that you can bring forth into this world. Stay tuned with me for the next hour and find your higher purpose on My Wild Magic, starting now. All right, welcome everyone. Thank you for being on uh, our podcast today. And uh, today we're going to be working with um, angel activations to start with. So if you ever do work with angels, um, a lot of times we think of angels in terms of bringing down prayer energy and blessing energy, but one of the other things that they can do for us uh, when we are in a good healing energy is they can do healing transformational energy with us, and sometimes we'll call that an activation. So when the angels come in, they will come in and kind of activate the energy within our heart center or maybe in our third eye or our DNA, um, they can work with us on a soul level. So we're going to open today with some angel activation energy. And uh, if you like what we're doing today and you're interested, I also have a angel activation quest that I'm going to be going into much deeper depth about coming up here, uh, June 15th to the 21st, a seven day virtual quest. So we do half hour you know, 30 to 45 minute meditations in the evening, and we'll be going through seven different types of angels. We're going to be doing, um, discussing and having angel transfer, um, uh, transmissions of light and activations from the Elohim, the Seraphim, the Cherubim, angels of light, the archangels, uh, yeah, some essential and unknown angels and different beings that come in to work with us. So today though, for what we're doing in our call, uh, we're gonna be working with Metatron. So again, if you're interested in doing any more of that work, you can go to mywildmagic.com. Again, that's mywildmagic.com. Check out more about this upcoming angel activation quest I got going on. It's gonna be over the, the summer solstice, which is June 21st. And that always kind of has its own activation of things coming in on a more astrological level for us as well. So let's just ground ourselves for a minute, right? Whenever we're working with angels, we just want to um, center ourselves to the best of our ability and just ground our energy, come back home to our own heart center. So just breathing in and out. And you're just following the rhythm of your breath in and out of your heart center. And I am sending you a virtual hug calling in the angels to also enfold you in their tender embrace. So we're just breathing in and out. And you're gonna breathe into your heart and out of your heart and just feeling yourself coming back into um, harmonic resonance within yourself. Letting go of all the worries and concerns of the day. <clears throat> Anything that may be going on just to be in the present moment. Again, just breathing in and out. And we're gonna start off by calling into Archangel Shamuel, the angel of divine love. Again, working deep within our heart center. It's a great place to start when you're working with the flame of divine love, really giving us that, that, um, that feeling tone, that quality essence of safety, of feeling like you are deeply unconditionally loved beyond measure, <clears throat> that you are enough no matter what is going on in the world and um, that sense of safety that comes with that particularly for our inner child so breathing in and out of your heart center as we call forth this pink flame of divine love and so it's a ray of light that archangel shamuel brings forth on our behalf that governs the heart chakra so Opening up the heart's a great place to start with anything that we do actually. So breathing in, <clears throat> I just want you to feel this beautiful pink ray of light just expanding 
through your heart with every breath you breathe that pink light just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and just feeling yourself that you are literally an all-consuming flame of unconditional love you're literally carrying that frequency that all-consuming flame of unconditional love and just noticing how much better it feels like it can sometimes take us up and out of um any of the energies that sometimes drag us down you know it brings us instantaneous hope it brings us instantaneous sense of empowerment and uh, um, hope in a better better experience a better day a better moment um, seeing the higher qualities within yourself and with others uh, potentials um, gratitude anywhere your needs are being met it also helps to resolve any problems, any perceived problems with the perfect harmonious solution. So it's a great way of just meeting the, the world with your heart wide open. And no matter what problem, what issues might be there, just breathing in. And we're going to first and foremost call into an angel activation from Archangel Shamuel, the ray of divine love and all the angels of divine love coming in and around you and just enfolding you in this uh, this energetic hold, uh, hug in a sense, right? And so just breathing in and calling forth an angelic activation of light within your heart center. So activating the heart chakra, the actual heart muscle, the DNA of the heart, the wisdom of the heart, calling forth an activation um, for our emotional intelligence, our feeling body, connection to our soul. And I just want you to feel that energy. It may feel like kind of um, uh, like a movement in your heart or rays of light coming into your heart as this activation comes in. And just feeling deeper and deeper love. And just noticing how lovable you are and just think about one thing that you feel is just really endearing or loving about yourself. And we're just expanding that resonance right now, helping Archangel Shamuel bring that ray of divine love even deeper into your energy field. And feel that pink ray of divine love just going deeper and deeper into every cell of your body, every atom every electron and coming into your mental body, your thoughts, that pink flame divine love and just washing through your entire body, helping to clear that pink flame divine love through your heart, your emotions, your aura. And sending forth, because one way we, we do an activation is we not only receive the energy, but then we can send it out because we become activators of that, that energy too. Right now, it's that flame divine love activating within you on a bigger scale right now. And uh, the request is simply to send that flame of divine love to all your loved ones, to the family of humanity, to the earth. And so we're just going to send out and be like a conduit for this angelic transmission of light, this angelic activation coming into your DNA, expanding your DNA to greater and greater amounts of love. And we're going to send it out like a, uh, like a lighthouse of energy to all of your loved ones, to the family of humanity. And just noticing other people opening their hearts and just receiving that love from you that right in this moment, maybe they're standing at a bus stop, maybe they are working at a job, maybe they're in a hospital, maybe they're, uh, you know, having a hard time, maybe they're, you know, planning for um, something special in their life, but wherever these people are, I just want you to notice all the people on the planet just lighting up that are open to receive this ray of love that you're sending out. And just notice how good it feels, like this energy of sending out this hug to everybody, this, this pink flame divine love, just gracefully um, blessing anybody who's open right now. And just noticing that circuitry of how good it feels 
to send that blessing and that divine love out to others. That it feels good receiving it. It feels good sending it out and it feels good as it comes back on a return circuit. And you can see how that activation just grows and grows and grows and becomes even greater. So expanding that energy, allowing it to just bless you. And so with the archangels, Archangel Shamuel is one of the seven primary archangels. There's a lot that goes with this ray of light. This also activates within us the law of three times three, which is the law of abundance. The law of love, adoration, and gratitude. And it's just one of the angels that we're going to be working with in this uh, upcoming angel activation quest. Which is noticing how good it feels. All right. And so while you're integrating that, we are also going to be doing the Voyager Tro cards today. So um, the Voyager cards, right? Um, one of my favorites here. And uh, so we're going to be doing this in three readings, and we have an, um, three different card readings we're going to do, and we're just going to go through them here to see if any of the guidance appeals to you. So are you tuning into card reading one, card reading two, card reading three? You might notice that like one lights up or one's more important to you. Also, um, they might just be an evolution if you want to look at all of them. So first card showing up for anybody who's listening to this card reading for the Voyager Tro card, the number one, is Synthesis, and this is Ace of Crystals. And so right now, a lot of things that maybe you've been working on, thinking about, planning, um, you know, really on more of a creation phase here, that it's all starting to perhaps come together. And that uh, to really kind of keep in mind that the ideas and the vision you have for your life it's okay to plan things and to open things up and to be able to um, allow the divine mind of all creation to actually organize this energy on your behalf. So we're gonna turn over any plans, any creations, any ideas, anything you've been working on over to that divine mind, heart of all creation, source energy, your I am presence, to organize anything you've been thinking about, working on, over for a higher cause and that all that information is coming in together. The second card is courage, and this is seven of wands, to have courage really to follow through. Uh, the third card is disappointment, five of cups. And so even if something seems like a disappointment, it's a card of change. It's something it feels like you might be facing to let go and make sure that you have courage to follow all the way through with whatever it is you're worried about and don't worry about the disappointments in life, that they're gonna work themselves out, that this higher divine plan from your higher self and the divine are going to cover all your bases right now. The disappointment feels like it's really kind of something out of the past. It's something that you have an unconscious fear of, but have a spiritual courage, move through it, and know that your higher self through the synthesis card is working everything out. So um, we are going to return just a moment. We're going to take a break. So hang in there while we do the other two cards and some more activations, angel activations. All right. Welcome back. I am Adrian. You're listening to My Wild Magic with Adrian on Transformation Talk Radio. You can check out more of what I have to offer at mywildmagic.com. Again, that's mywildmagic.com. And today we're talking about angel activations and how that works, that they can bring forth prayers. They can bring forth healing energy. All of us love that, um, whether we're calling it in for ourselves or for um, other people or the earth itself. But with this, they also do activations where it literally kind of comes into your, your DNA, um, where they send down, um, it's like, um, like transmissions of light that come from their unique signature of energy and different angels have different signatures of energy that come forth. The Elohim have a certain signature, the Seraphim, Archangel Michael has a certain frequency, Archangel Shamuel, which we just called in the angel of divine love. So they all have different signatures to them and feeling tones that are going to have a positive influence on your own soul's um, highest well-being and highest good. And uh, so 
The next angel that we want to call in is Metatron. And Metatron's really a cool archangel. He's actually head of all the archangels. So in the sacred fire flame of the archangels, Metatron helps to um, kind of be the overseer of that angelic realm in a sense and carries a tremendous kind of authority and power to Metatron. Um, very good at clearing energy, a very transformational energy. Uh, Metatron governs more so the eighth chakra right here above the seventh chakra. So governs the eighth chakra and works with the energy of uh, the Ascended Master Melchizedek. So you always have an Archangel and an Ascended Master that usually pair up and work together as well as an Elohim Angel. So um, Metatron is really good at like uh, divine organization, like being able to organize the energy of a divine plan. So it's really good for your soul blueprint. Metatron's awesome at being able to ignite that energy of your soul blueprint and being able to really um, uh, organize it, align it, call in different support systems for you and then help you to achieve your goals in the world. So Metatron, all right. So let's call in Metatron's energy and begin to feel what that feels like. So Metatron, this um, uh, angelic activation. So we wanna take a deep breath, just breathing in and out, just getting in touch with your inner presence. Breathing into your heart and out of your heart. Breathing into your heart and out of your heart. Okay, and we're going to call forth the beloved presence of Metatron. And I want you to notice with whatever intuition you most use, if you have a uh, particular um, feeling tone, a color, a light, a sense, a knowingness, an awareness, what I think your old Metatron feels like. And um, you might notice it like a, um, a really, you know, loving kind of authority figure, father figure. You might notice it uh, feeling very uh, powerful yet gentle, uh, very focused, um, a more expansive energy of light. And with Metatron, we're going to go ahead and ask that Metatron activate, call, call in uh, angelic activation into your DNA specifically for your soul blueprint. So calling into Archangel Metatron, activating the highest vibration, the highest energy of your soul blueprint held within your DNA, going into your RNA, your mitochondria, really activating this energy and feeling Metatron's presence, almost like spheres of light that might be coming through your energy field causing this activation. So notice that Metatron may work with spheres of light. So kind of balls of energy, balls of light coming in. And Metatron is really transformational as well. So helping to transmute any negativity, fear, discord, human effluvia, anything that may not be serving you uh, right now, anything may be blocking you in terms of your highest soul's evolution, your highest vibrational resonance, the highest version of your soul blueprint, because you're always living some version of it, right? And so noticing that energy of just a transformational energy, clearing things out of your chakras, your body, your memories, your, um, your light body. We want to clear out any thoughts, emotions, feelings that are not yours, just clearing that out of your energy. And just noticing if you're feeling a little bit lighter, a little bit more at ease. And the other thing we wanna ask Metatron to do is bring in any resources for you, any other angelic resources, any other ascended masters, any other universal rays of light that can be downloaded into your body right in this moment that you need for whatever is serving your highest and best good. Maybe it's a health issue, maybe it is a financial issue, maybe it's a relationship issue, um, 
uh, just life itself. So whatever, wherever you may need support in your life right now, we're calling that in to help organize the perfect harmonious solution in your life at this moment. And that all your needs and anything that's going on is also just being brought to you in that circuitry of love or above energy and just feeling it kind of a, a wash over your energy filled with um, Archangel Metatron, just washing through your energy on a soul level clearing that space, aligning that energy for your highest and best good. Oh, and just taking in a deep breath. We're going to clear any cording that might be there, particularly in the solar plexus or any other chakras. Asking Metatron to clear any cording, projections, transferences of energy, any emotion, feeling, thought forms that are not yours, clearing this energy all the way out feeling lighter and brighter with every breath you take, just feeling lighter and brighter, just clearing this out. Anything that maybe you've inherited, anything that goes on that affects your DNA. And as Metatron is also good at transformation, um, Metatron is equally as good at awakening. So calling forth that energy of awakening you on a deep soul level. So calling into that awakened energy within your own spirit essence, awakening. And what you're awakening to is your divine connection. You're awakening to some of the higher gifts and attributes that you may have. And just feeling that swirling through your energy field, swirling around all the way down around you, almost like a, a rain shower of light coming in in this spiraling energy. You might even notice like a little bit of dizziness or spiraling and just flushing through, clearing out anything that's not serving you and then filling up your energy field, your auric field with everything that serves your highest and best good. So aligning that energy for that as well. Filling up your energy. And again, Archangel Metatron is just one of the angels that we're going to be working with in that angel activation course or quest coming up June 15th, the 15th, uh, through the 15th to the 21st. And just allowing that to expand. Just feeling freer and freer with every breath you take. Okay, so um, we're going to look at the Voyager Crow cards now, allowing that angel activation to come in and ground itself, um, integrate and seal. And we're going to look at the second layer of cards here, the second set, in case that was the one you were tuning into, or just an evolution as we move through this. So the first card in this one is uh, negativity, five of crystals. It's another card of change where we've got a lot of change going on and it feels like there is a sense of kind of um, facing our fears and being able to um, look at the things that may be causing you to feel negative in your life, whether it's a thought form or somebody that you might be dealing with or um life circumstances, um, but noticing that level of any kind of negativity or anxieties that you feel go on, you know, in your energy field, your life, something you might think about this is a mental body card, uh, crystals is dealing with the mind. So it's something that you might be thinking about, fretting over, wondering about that kind of thing. Okay. The next card in the deck that's going to act as a resource here is the seeker child of wands. And so it's literally looking up, it's seeking upward, it's connecting to source energy, that portal of light in your 12th chakra, about 300 feet above your head, imagining standing about 300 feet tall and tapping into source energy and commanding down that energy of pure love and light flushing through your system, anything that no longer serves you, any negativities, fears, discord, and that you are now seeking a higher path in your life. You may not know exactly how to accomplish this yet, but the seeking is the first step, knowing that you want to change something up and seek and go into a direction that is in alignment to your own I am presence. 
And then the uh, next card in the deck is the energy of fear, seven of cups, that's the emotional body. So what you're seeking, what you find that you may be led to do might take you out of your known factors. It might take you out of your comfort zone. There may be some uh, fears that come up, fear of the unknown. And so to deal with this fear, we're going to call in the angels of the unknown to come forth and bless you, that source energy, filling you with pure love and light, streaming out in front of you, clearing your path, knowing that the fears that you're perceiving right now in the mental body in that form of negativity are really going to be somewhat kind of... Um, kind of illusionary. There are things that you've maybe been told to be afraid of or thought you should be afraid of, but as you're seeking upward and seeking the higher path, it's the hero's path, uh, the hero's journey, and you're going to challenge those fears and move right through them. They're fears that have been holding you back for a long time anyway, and it's time to let them go. So we are going to take a quick break. We'll be right back in a moment. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. We're doing the Voyager Tro reading of the month, and we are also doing angel activations. So uh, the angel activations are excellent for anybody who's really wanting to kind of upgrade their uh, soul's evolution, that they're wanting a graceful way to kind of see solutions to problems, to have more resources come into their life, to uh, come into alignment with their divine plan, their higher purpose in life. So angel activations are great at doing that. And um, we are working with that. So right now we're going to call in to the Elohim angels. So we're going to call them in next as our angel activation. And again, you can join my angel activation quest at mywildmagic.com coming up June 15th to June 21st. It's really fun to do the quest on this on the solstices or the equinoxes because they really heighten the energy and their natural times of transformation for us as a human being and all living things. So whenever you activate them with something, it just makes it a more powerful time, really. So calling into the Elohim angels. So the Elohim are a type of cosmic angel, and they help to uh bring in the rays of creation there's 144,000 rays of creation and our chakras are carrying the first seven so we have the zero chakra which is in the um electronic grid of the planet about you know 18 inches beneath our feet when we plug into the earth so we have the zero chakra the earth star chakra then we have the first chakra at the base of the body second chakra at the navel area third at the solar plexus, fourth over the heart, um, fifth chakra at the throat, sixth chakra at the third eye, and the crown chakra at the top, and then the eighth chakra, which is right above our chakras, and they just continue to go up to 144,000. So um, as a human being, it takes an enormous amount of focus to come into a physical form and to be able to manifest and do things and have emotions and feelings and thoughts and all that. And the rays of creation are governed by an ascended master, an archangel, and an Elohim. And uh, they come into each of the chakras as like uh, vortexes, portals of light for that to happen. So the Elohim are quite important to our evolution and what we're doing. Um, and so we're going to call them in. So the Elohim angels, again, a cosmic angel, much further out than the archangels or some of the other angels that we can work with. So I want you just to breathe in. Breathing into your heart and out of your heart, just again, coming back into that heart-centered space. And then I want you to expand a little and go up to your higher mental body. So the higher mental body is seen as like a crown of light right here, like a band of light right around the crown chakra. And there's seven different uh, points of light and it is considered the crown of light for the sacred fire flame of the mighty Elohim angels. So breathing in. And noticing these beloved Elohim angels coming forth, and you might notice a different signature feeling, a different light, a color, a feeling, a knowingness, an awareness of them. They're a little bit different. They might feel of a higher vibration, a lighter frequency, um, almost more like pure light energy. So just breathing in and noticing that energy of pure light. Breathing in and out. I just want you to imagine this 
halo, this crown of light, and just it lighting up with the flame of divine love, wisdom, power, purity, healing, peace, and transformation. And so just noticing all those points of light around your crown chakra opening up. And that now you're receiving the miracle mantle of the mighty Elohim angels sending forth all seven rays of creation directly into your crown of light, streaming through your spinal column, your nervous system down into each of the chakras and noticing each of your chakras start to light up. So the Elohim of divine wisdom lighting up the crown chakra, the Elohim of divine purity, crystal ray of light lighting up the third eye area. Oh, the mighty Elohim of divine power igniting the blue flame in the throat chakra. The mighty Elohim of divine love igniting the pink flame within the heart chakra. The mighty Elohim of divine peace igniting the ruby flame in the solar plexus chakra. The mighty Elohim of divine healing and creativity igniting the green flame in the navel chakra and the mighty Elohim of transformation, igniting the violet transmuting flame, in the base chakra, the root chakra. And then we're going to add to our chakras being cleansed, cleared, and um, expanded right now, and calling into that source energy, that cosmic force of pure love and light, pure love and light streaming through all of your chakras, washing your chakras, cleansing them, recalibrating them into perfect spin ratio. Asking these Elohim angels to send forth an angelic activation into each of your seven chakras, tuning them, toning them, purifying them, bringing them into perfect spin ratio, perfect pitch, for each of your unique chakras and what can be upgraded in maximum efficiency, minimum effort. And so just noticing in this angelic activation of the mighty Elohim, activating each of these chakras. Sending forth the transmission of light fine-tuning these chakras, raising you to your highest vibrational resonance, your highest vibrational resonance. And when you start noticing the chakras all starting to vibrate at a higher level, um, you might have a knowingness or a clear audience sort of inner, inner ear hearing. You might even visually see them as certain uh, vortexes, different colors and vortexes and lights spinning. Um, but if you're clear audience or you have that inner listening, you might begin to notice all the chakras fine tuning like a fine tuned instrument or like a symphony of light. And so, you know, a symphony of sound frequency. And so just listening into that energy. Just breathing in and out, feeling into that, that light, that energy. And what would be the most beautiful symphony that you would hear knowing that that is your soul information, that your soul resonance, that each of us are our own unique signature tone and we each have our own kind of symphony going on within us. Everything that we've learned, we've done, we've uh, grown and evolved, it's very unique like a snowflake. So like all the planets also have a symphony of sound, the celestial music of the spheres, human beings do too. And so you're just, right now the Elohim are doing an angel act and activation to help fine tune you as a living instrument. Clearing that energy. 
and feeling your crown of light getting brighter, shinier, more activated, and that wisdom coming in, that higher wisdom of the Elohim. Okay, so the third card reading, in case you, uh, this is the one that aligns to you, is uh, good fortune. So we're also going to call forth Archangel Fortunata, one of the archangels for good fortune, goodwill, good tidings, just good karma, good things all the way around. So um, Wheel of Fortune is where you're now ready through the work that you've been doing. You're actually really ready to change up your life path, to go in a different direction here. And that this life path is literally blessed with the Midas touch, that you have the opportunity to kind of shift your life into a new direction, whether it be relationships, work, your health, finances, a vision that you have, a goal that you have. You're really ready to upgrade and you're ready to align your energy to that higher frequency and that you are already blessed. You've already got good fortune and good energy backing you up and helping you to move forward with effortless ease, grace, um, positive energy on that level. Okay. <clears throat> the next card coming in is the card of brilliance, ace of crystals. And so as you're moving forward with the wheel of fortune card, you're now adding to it that energy of a new thought, a new idea, a new inspiration. The brilliance card can also be even in your higher mental body, a new way of perceiving yourself, new thought forms, new belief systems, that you're more in alignment with your mind and what you see, you're not as caught up in the delusions of life, but you're actually seeing things pretty clearly for what they are and, and seeing a clear path in front of you that you're now ready to activate. So seeing this clear path in front of you be activated on all levels and really paying attention to any visions, any dreams that you have. And then along with the new beginnings, ACEs is always a new beginning. In this one for this fortune, uh, good fortune card, this new life path, blessed with the Midas touch, we also have a new beginning in your emotional body of ecstasy. So essentially, you're going to be following your bliss, following your divine inspiration, that you're being completely supported with the energy of being able to shift your life path with ease and grace. So tapping into um, this higher bliss, happiness, joy frequencies, a new ecstasy, a new way of emotionally experiencing the world around you, new ways of thinking about it. And uh, you are so ready to sit on your life path. All right, stay tuned. We're going to come on back. We got one more card reading to do and one more angel activation. All right, welcome back. Okay, so our last angel that we're going to be working with today is... Um, uh, we're working with the angels of light and the angels of light come in from different celestial kingdoms, celestial dimensions. So angels of light can be kind of a hybrid between what you would think of to be an angel, but also kind of a star being. So for instance, um, you know, Orion is a kind of a classic example where Orion is considered um, a constellation in the sky, the belt of Orion. It is a dimensional realm. It is a doorway that uh, beings kind of travel through. So it's like a, a galactic doorway in a sense that beings travel through, including you, when you soul travel and things. Um, and is obviously within the star system. So Orion on one level is a um, a star being for anybody who comes from uh, Orion. But on the other hand, Orion is also sometimes considered an archangel, archangel Orion. So it's almost getting that, that energy of having both where some of these star systems are um, considered like an angelic star being. So you yourself may be an angelic star being where you're coming in from a star system, but yet you've made contact with the angels. Or maybe you're primarily an angelic being, but you have also ventured out in some of your dimensional lifetimes and you have connected to different star systems for greater evolution. And when you merge those two together, it becomes like a hybrid of being like an angelic star being. So working with that, we have uh, Cassiopeia, we have um, Orion, we have um, Arcturian, uh, the Arcturians, the Pleiadians, 
uh, we have the Syrians, the Lyrians. So there's different star systems out there that you might recognize the name of and you know might have a connection with them and so it is possible very much in your tribe of light to do that if you're interested in learning more about your tribe of light go to my website mywildmagic.com there's a free quiz on there to kind of get you in the right direction get you a pdf to kind of learn a little bit more about that um so with orion right this angelic star being this angelic light beam i just want you to tune in for a moment using your higher intuition, just breathing in and out. And we want to call into an angel activation, an angel uh, light activation coming in from the beloved presence, the angelic star being of Orion. And just feeling this energy, if there's a particular color, a light, a feeling tone of the energy of Orion. Notice if it feels comfortable to you or if it feels a little bit like a reach for you. Aligning with that energy. And just feeling into this angel light activation, almost like kind of piercing and coming through the uh, third chakra, clearing out the higher mental body. Um, Orion, this particular angel activation feels like it's clearing out the crystalline structure of the brain. That um, if you have had um, emotional traumas, if you have had uh, head injuries, if you have had um, things like that, sometimes that crystalline structure in the brain can get kind of damaged or smashed or imbalanced, um, defragmented. And so we're calling into the angelic light activation, angelic starlight activation, helping to clear our mental body, the crystalline structure of our brain, helping to rebalance any energy, to clear out any toxicity that might be there in the brain frequencies, the higher mental body, lower mental body, balancing and aligning the right and left hemispheres of the brain so that you can think more clearly. And so feeling this angelic starlight activation coming in and just working with clearing, aligning your third eye, the pituitary, the pineal gland, the hypothalamus, the right and left hemispheres of the brain, the glandular systems, the master cell of the body, which is kind of here at the base of the brain. So we're going to call into Orion overlighting the angelic starlight activation into the master cell. And just imagine if there was like a drawer in the back of your head and we're just pulling that drawer out and allowing this star activation to come in and recalibrate your DNA, your RNA, your mitochondria, um, clearing any genetics that do not serve you, anything that you have been downloaded with, any toxicities that came in at birth, any genetics. We just wanna turn those switches off of anything that doesn't serve you. And we want to flip switches on for any of your soul attributes and positive health, good health, healing abilities, healing capabilities. We want to switch on all the circuitry in that master cell at the base of the brain that governs spontaneous healing. Spontaneous healing, clarity, genius sequencing, really awakening your own inner genius. Clarity for the path moving forward for you and that your physical body is in alignment with this path to move forward. So just breathing in and out, aligning this higher divine path. And just breathing deep into your belly, allowing this uh, star activation. If you are sensitive to your mental body, higher mental body, star being energy, you may be more aware of a tingling sensation or light activating around your brain. Again, kind of repairing the crystalline structures. Most of us have had some kind of head stuff. 
And so clearing the crystalline structure, even sometimes our birthing pattern can be very difficult on the brain if you're coming through the birthing canal. And so allowing that to align itself. And feeling the crystalline structure of your brain like this beautiful network of little crystal, crystal pieces and like this webbing, this network, just lighting up, filling out, recorrecting themselves if they've been ajar or smashed like crystal, that they are being uh, repaired, realigned, expanded throughout your entire brain. And that these crystalline structures are like an antenna. So whenever you have thought forms that you want to manifest something, this crystalline structure is like an antenna, you know, that helps to attract in whatever it is you're calling in for. So we really want that antenna to be working at that higher level. Aligning that energy. Okay, now to go along with that, we're gonna allow that angelic light, starlight trans, uh, transmission of light and activation to continue working on you. Um, and we're gonna go into the final reading, the final cards. So uh, the first one is narrowness, nine of crystals. And it's where there's been any, um, any narrowness of the mind, any limited thinking, any uh, false belief systems that you are now ready to outgrow them. Just whew, they're gone. You're ready to outgrow them. They no longer are limiting you. So moving into narrowness and you're going to be able to focus, have that pristine ability to actually focus on what you want to accomplish without getting so narrow that you lose yourself in the story and just go in circles and can't do anything, right? So you're using your mind from your higher mental body where you hold the big picture, you see where you're going, you're staying focused on it, but you're not getting caught up in the, um, the minutiae of life and the things that are just holding you down, right? Um, the next card is equanimity, two of crystals, where you have a crystal clear mind now. And this is the Orion energy coming in and helping to have a crystal clear mind that you are single-minded focused on what you want to accomplish, what you want to manifest, and your mind is able to activate that. And with this particular angelic star activation, that will be a lot easier. And then the third card that comes in to go along with this is the card of the magician. And that uh, master archetype of the magician is one who touches into the presence of spirit. It's a, it's a one card in the major arcana. It taps into spirit. It knows how to bring spirit into form and to manifest at the highest levels possible when it comes to your higher vision for life, your soul blueprint, your inner geniusness, the vision that you've come here to make manifest. So I hope that the reading has been helpful as we've gone through all four of them. You might've seen aspects of each one that might've spoken to you. Hopefully the wisdom and the energy and the angel activations were helping you to move through this with ease and grace and that your whole month just goes a whole lot smoother. Um, definitely stay tuned. Um, we'll be doing these angel activations and board your cards at the first of each month, first Wednesday of each month. And uh, if you're interested in participating and doing more angel activation work, check out the website, mywildmagic.com and sign up for the June 15th to June 21st angel activation quest. So bye, sending you big love and uh, we'll see you next, next Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in to My Wild Magic with me, your host, Adrian Cobb. Each one of us has a sole purpose on this earth and a higher purpose full of creative expression and unique soul attributes. Make sure to tune in next week on TransformationTalkRadio.com to continue your journey home to your truest self and pursue the path of unconditional self-love. If you would like to learn more about me, visit MyWildMagic.com. Again, that's MyWildMagic.com dot com.